Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird One. Today we're gonna turn the old computer into a mining rig, so let's grab it. Okay, so in the previous video we have bought the stuff that we needed for our mining rig conversion from the old computer. So we ordered 4 gigabytes of DDR2 memory, that's two memory sticks. We ordered three ring fans, but we actually need two. And we also ordered an Asus ROG Strix RX470 4 gigabytes because it has a single 6 pin connector for power and that's what we needed. So first of all, let's grab the computer and we're gonna start cleaning it because it's a little bit dirty. Okay, so first of all, we removed the lid from the computer and you can see it's really darn dirty and I was just deciding to start cleaning it with a moisting cloth. It's, it was actually pretty wet, but I don't care. This computer can handle it. It's, it's 10 years old. I don't care if it's gonna break circuit or something but it was just so dirty that i had no option but to do it with water so if if you're gonna comment like you're gonna electrocute yourself yeah maybe i did but i'm just commenting right now so i'm i'm not dead so i'm okay but okay one more thing um i'm gonna go ahead and speed up this cleaning part of the computer and as you can see there's an ssd inside it and also a hard drive so you might think like, hey, should I upgrade to an SSD as well? Well, yes, I recommend putting SSDs in old computers. It speeds it up like 50 times compared to the old hard drive that's inside it. But this one was still hooked on to the computer because there were still some pictures on it from my dad and my, my family and stuff. But later in the video, you'll see that I, I will start removing it as well because I'm only going to use the SSD inside this computer and I'm going to make it as clean as possible and remove everything we don't need anymore. So let's speed up the cleaning process process, and see you guys pretty quickly. Screwdriver. So it was time to remove the old hard drive and its cable that we don't need anymore and grabbing all the cables together and cleaning the bottom of the case a little bit as well because when we turn on the new card that we're gonna put into it it would suck in all the dust that's inside a computer and that's not what we want so we're cleaning absolutely everything. We also removed the little Molex connectors that go to the fans of the computer because we're also going to replace the fans of the computer so we actually don't need those anymore and we're gonna save a lot of space inside this case by just doing some cable management and cleaning. But that wasn't the only thing we removed. This was a GeForce 210. It took some force to get it out though. But this graphics card is 512 megabytes of GDDR2 memory, I think. I'm not sure even if it's GDDR2. <laughs> okay, wait a second. So this GPU that I just grabbed out of my computer has a score of 167. And the GTX 1080 has 12,000? You can probably see the difference between these generations. But it had the world's tiniest fan I've ever seen. From Gigabyte. Okay, so it was time to remove the old ringing or... I've no idea how you even pronounce it, but these fans made like a weird noise. So it was time to remove them, but the time I removed them, there was 10 years of dust falling out of them and that was absolutely too much for, for words it's like a complete desert so 10 years of abuse on fans looks like a complete desert 
And of course the frame on the inside where the fan was was also totally dirty. And we also had to clean that because the new ring fans would come on over there and they would be dusty at the same time as well. So even my whole desk was full of dust after removing these fans. I was like, oh god, I just cleaned it. But okay, this is an old computer and you probably are going to have the same problems when you're removing the old fans. There's also one in the front of the computer, but we needed to remove the whole front of the case to be able to get to the screws that we needed to remove to get to the fan. So it was pretty annoying to get there and cleaning that part up as well. Oh shit. I just dropped it. <laughs> so as you can see, the inside of the case was on, on the front of the case was even dirty as well. We cleaned everything. We replaced the fans with the ring fans and they do look really better than what was inside it before but i have no idea why i ordered three of these fans while they were only fitting two inside it i have no idea why i ordered three of them so this is a return of investment that was pretty unnecessary but of course i can always use the fans it's no big deal but of course just make sure you buy the right parts like i do i forgot a little bit of it and i ordered too much so also one of the main reasons that I've chosen for the ring fans is because I know that these already include the Molex to four pin connectors or three pin connectors to be exact inside the box of every single fan. So it was really easy to hook them up onto the old Molex connectors that came from the power supply of this old computer and that made it so much more easy and like money saving as well. Behind the cable jungle on into the motherboard, we found a DDR2 RAM stick that we need to replace with two new ones. When I pulled it out and I watched how much gigs it was, it was two gigabytes as well. So I actually should have bought only a single two gigabyte DDR2 RAM stick, but unfortunately I have six gigabytes in total, but we only got two slots. So let's replace the old one. Okay, so your RAM is going to be the same for almost everyone and all the old computers. They can have different sizes and whatsoever. But the thing to push them in is always going to be the same. You have to align the little spare thingy. It's probably going to be around the middle, but sometimes it can be different. So make sure you align it straight onto the RAM slot. So make sure the two locks are open on every single slot you're gonna use. For DDR2, DDR3, 4 is all going to be the same for your old computers. But just push it in gently. It's gonna sometimes it's gonna be really tough, like on mine. I had to hold my whole desk just to make sure that I'm not pushing the computer over the table. Because I had to push it in so hard. Even though it feels that you're gonna break it, it's not gonna break. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that these RAM thingies are pretty strong. So when you put in both of them, you're done with upgrading your RAM. But you may think like, why didn't he use the old DDR2 RAM? Because sometimes if you put different types of RAM or different brands of it inside your computer, you can have a problem. So I was going for two of the same ones. So I'm really sure that I wasn't having trouble and delay on turning my old computer into a mining rig. Okay, so now that we upgraded our RAM and our fans inside our old computer, it is well cooled and upgraded to perform mining programs. And now we can add our GPU. So you can just grab your GPU that you bought and make sure you have the right power connection for it because we were limited to our six pin power connector as we said in a previous video and we just plug it into our computer it has a single 16 PCIe slot for the motherboard and also a single PCIe 1 slot so we could even upgrade it later on to a second GPU if we want to with a riser but comparing this graphics card to a 10 year old graphics card was actually qu quite funny because the, the little fan from the Gigabyte GeForce 210 was like so tiny compared to the Asus one. It's even the size of the Asus logo. So last but not least, we added our graphics card into our computer. This step is going to be straightforward for everyone. I hope you're not getting questions about this one, how to plug a graphics card into your computer. So take the six pin power connector or whatever power connectors you need and plug them into your graphics card and just pop it into your motherboard and you're done. 
But there is one more thing. This computer has a VGA connection that we need for the screen. So this graphics card only had a HDMI or DVI. So we need to buy a converter for that, but we can get that on Amazon. So that's not gonna be a big of a deal and it's gonna arrive pretty soon. But I already have one, so it's not gonna delay my conversion to a mining rig. So this is an AMD graphics card and I'm gonna show you in the next video how to install all the drivers and mine different coins. But we also maybe need an NVIDIA one, so we can show you how to install the NVIDIA drivers and do the setup for NVIDIAs. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video and make sure I see you in the next one. So click that subscribe button and see you guys in the next one.